Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial that introduces mnemonic number systems. I just wanted to cover a few of the different methods and kind of clarify some of the terminology and hopefully this will be a useful introduction to new users in the forum. So when a memorizer encounters a lot of numbers, the first thing that you would want to do when memorizing these is to start splitting them up into uh, smaller pieces. So we would keep breaking down into smaller and smaller chunks until we have two-digit numbers. Two-digit number system is the easiest one to learn. So even if you've broken them down into two, digit, two digits, it's still kind of difficult to to memorize a lot of them. So what people do is they convert them into visual images that are much easier to remember and every two-digit number will have a fixed image. So 04 might be someone that you know, 22 might be a dinosaur, 44 might be a cat, and so on. And there are several different systems that you can use to convert the numbers into images in a way that's easy to remember. But after you have all these images, it's still kind of hard to remember a lot of them. It might be easy to remember five, but once you get up to 100, then it's going to be difficult. So another technique is used called the method of loci where people create a memory palace which is an imaginary journey through a place that you know well. It could be something like a garden or a room. A room in a house is perfect. And what you would do is when you see the number convert every every two digit number into an image and then start placing those images in certain locations certain locations around the memory palace. So you would place them around the room, and then when you wanted to read back the number or recall it, you would just convert those images back into the the numbers that they represent. So now we get to how to con how do you convert those numbers into the images? There are three methods that I'll talk about. The first one is a simple association system. The second one is called the Dominic system. The third one is called the Major system. There are also other systems like the Ben system, which is more complicated, and I'll save that for another another screencast. So with the association system, each number gets converted into an image based on something that it reminds you of in association. So if you see the number 52, it might remind you of a deck of cards because a deck of cards has 52 cards in it. A starfish might be 0, 05 because there are five arms on a starfish. And 25 might remind you of December 25th, and you could picture a Christmas present. These images come from Andy Bell, who was the 1998 World Memory Champion. The second system is called the Dominic system, and it was created by Dominic O'Brien, who was the world memory champion eight times and each digit gets converted into a letter and those letters then become initials for people but one thing that Dominic O'Brien mentions in his books is that you can start with an association system an example that he often uses is the number 10 is Dudley Moore because Dudley Moore starred in the movie 10 so that's basically an association system. And then he says when you run out of associations, you can start using the uh, the digit conversion as shown on the screen here. So you can see number uh, digits 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are just A, B, C, D, and E. When you get to 6, 6 starts with S. G is the seventh letter in the alphabet. H is the eighth letter in the alphabet, 9 is N, and 0 looks like an O. So now if you see, you'd want to make a unique image for every two-digit number from 0, 0 to 9, 9. You need 100 images. So 1, 5 would be converted into A, E, and 3, 2 would be converted into C, B. You would then use these as initials for a person. So A, E, might be Albert Einstein, CB might be Charlie Brown. 
the major system is different than the Dominic system. The Dominic system is a letter system, so let me go back one slide. One represents the letter A, two represents the letter B. These are letters, not sounds. When you get to the major system, uh, zero represents a sound. It doesn't represent the letter S, it represents the sound S or Z. So you can remember these because Z is the first sound in zero. One looks like a T, and T and D are phonetically similar. N looks like a 2 on its side. M looks like a 3 on its side. 4 looks kind of like a backwards R. Uh, 5, if you picture the Roman number for 50, is an L, so 5 is L. 6 is SH as in sheep, J as in jack, or CH as in cheese, so sh, j, and ch are all similar phonetic sounds. Uh, 7 is k, a k sound. It could also be the c in cards, because it's not the letter that's important, it's just the sound k. 8 looks like a cursive f, and f and v are phonetically similar. 9 is, looks like a backwards p, and p and b are phonetically similar. So we can go to some examples. 1, 5 would be t or d, and then l. 3, 2 would be M and N. 2. So the first thing is that W, H, and Y are ignored. Just remember Y. All of those consonants are ignored. So you would find a word that has the first two consonants that are the same as the sounds that represent your number. So 15 is T, L. Tal would work. Uh, 3, 2, you could use the M and N from Mona, Mona Lisa. And the Domin Dominic system example that I showed earlier, 1, 5 was Albert Einstein, and 3, 2 was Charlie Brown. So you kind of get a completely different, completely different way of generating the images. But it doesn't matter which method that you use. So I've covered association system the Dominic system, and the major system. And the reason I made this screencast is to con uh, clear up some of the confusion, because people were, were confusing the major system with the PAO system, or the Dominic system with the PAO system, but they're two separate things. What I'm explaining here is the process of converting the numbers into images, which is different than the process of placing those images in your memory palace. I'll get to that in a minute. So now that you have your 100 images from 00, 0 to 99, 9, you want to place those in your memory palace. And there's three main systems. There's a one, two, th or three, digit sorry, one, two, or three image system where you would place either one, two, or three images in every location in your memory palace. And then there are two compound image systems: the person action system and the person action object system, or PAO system. So you can combine any image generation system with any image placement system. You could have a person action major system or a Dominic system that's combined with the PAO system. I'll give you some examples. The simplest way to do it is just to put w either one, two, or three images in every location in your memory palace. The simplest, way to, simplest method is just put one image in every location. You can start like this, and even some of the top memorizers do this. You could also put two or three. So say you wanted to move the woman, the dinosaur, and the cat into the first location. You would just need a way to remember which one comes first. So one easy method is place the images from top to bottom or left to right. You could have the woman riding the dinosaur and the dinosaur biting the cat and that way you're going from top to bottom and left to right and you'll never mix up the order that way. The next method of placing images is called the person action system. This is typically used with the classic Dominic system. So each person, you'd have a hundred persons from 00 to 99 and you would give each of them a unique action. 
So 15 would be Albert Einstein, and Albert Einstein would have the action writing on a blackboard. 32 might be Charlie Brown, and Charlie Brown's action would be missing a kick because he's trying to kick the football and he falls over. So now you can take any two digit, uh, sorry, any four digit number and split it into compound images. So 15, 32, you would take the person from 15 and the action from 32. Albert Einstein plus kicking or missing the kick. If you saw 32, 15, then you would take the person from 32, Charlie Brown, and the action from 15, which is writing on a blackboard. And this would let you put four digits per location in your memory palace. The person action object system is like a person action system, but it just adds an object, so you can fit more information into every location. It's typically used with the major system, but it can be used with any kind of image generation system. You could have a Dominic system, person action object system, and it wouldn't matter. So person action places two images per location, and PAO places three images per location. So we would break up our example even further. 15 might be Albert Einstein. His action would be writing, and his object would be a blackboard. 32 could be Charlie Brown as the person. His action could be missing the kick, and his object could be a football. 16 might be Arnold Schwarzenegger. His action would be lifting, and his object would be a barbell. So the top here is just a reference. At the bottom, I'll show some examples of compound images with the PAO system. For 15, 32, 16, you would take the person from 15, the action from 32, and the object from 16. So you would have Albert Einstein kicking a barbell. For 32, 16, 15, you would take the person for 32, Charlie Brown, the action from 16, lifting, and the object from 15, which is a blackboard. For 16, 15, 32, you take the person for 16, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the action for 15, writing, and the object for 32, football. This gives you one, one million unique compound images. So in marathon events where you have to memorize a thousand digits in one hour or 10, 10 or more decks of cards in an hour, you won't get many repeat images because you have a million different combinations from 0000, 000, 000, 000 to 999999. So back to the main point of the screencast, there's a difference between image generation and image placement. Generation, image generation systems include association system, the Dominic system, and the major system and you can combine any image generation system with any image placement system. The image placement systems would be the one, two, or three image system, person action system, or a PAO system. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Visit the Memory Techniques Wiki at mnemotechnics.org slash w, and there are pages about all of these different systems that have a lot of information. And if you have questions, you can just go to the forum and I'll answer questions there. Hope that helps.